Did you guys just tell Andrew Wiggins it's time to start rebounding and, and uh, playing super hard? How can you explain what we, we've seen from him in, in this series? Well, I, th I think throughout the playoffs, really, um, you know, he's rebounded well. And um, I think it's just a, a sense of, you know, what's needed and, a, and you know, being um, on this team where he's got veteran guys who are, are you know, helping him to understand what we need from him. And um, he's just using his athleticism um, in a lot of different ways. And uh, he's just he's just been fantastic, not just in this series, but throughout the playoffs. Question in the back. Robert Littell, BSO. Um, what does it say about the team that Steph can have an off-shooting night like he did and they still come together and put together this win? And how is Steph able to still affect the game even when he is having an off-shooting night? Well, I mean, uh, the key to the game was our defense. So, um, and Steph was a big part of that. You know, they were trying to attack him over and over again. Um, and he held up really well. I thought Gary Payton um, and Wiggs and Draymond um, really keyed our, our defensive effort uh, to hold that team to 94 points. Um, you know, that's, that's what it takes, um, you know, to win a finals game. It's got to be about the defense. And, um, I think Steph was probably due for a game like this. You know, he's been shooting the ball so well that, uh, you know, at some point he was going to have a tough night. Um, but we've got we've got a lot of talent, a lot of depth that can make up for that. And the guys did a good job of that tonight. Davide in the back. Hi, Coach. Davide Canelato with uh, Gazette in Italy. I'm not sure you realize this yet, but you guys are one win away from another championship. How the, how does this, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the game just is just over. How does this make you feel? Considering all you guys have been through in the past three years, um, it's 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 so exciting to be you know part of the finals again, and um, you know I think uh, this this whole season has um, has kind of led to this. You know, a lot of individual stories, guys getting better, guys getting healthy. Um, you know, here we are. We have we have a chance. We got two two cracks at uh, getting one win, um, but we also know how difficult. It's going to be so. Uh, nobody's celebrating, but we're we're excited to be in this spot, and we uh, we want to take advantage of it. Rohan, uh, Rohan, Anthony, Sports Illustrated, Steve, over here to your right, to your right. There we go. Thank you. Uh, just going back to Steph's uh, shooting for a second. Did you notice Boston doing anything just different defensively? Were they coming up higher on those screens, or or do you think it was just a matter of him missing shots? Well, it was both. Boston did a really good job defensively. Um, as we would expect, they're a great defensive team. Um, I thought they put more pressure on him early uh, in pick and roll. Uh, and then, um, you know, Steph missed some open ones too. And uh, so it's always a combination, but, um, you know, this is uh, even for, you know, the best shooter in the world, um, you know, games like this happen. And, and um, fortunately they don't happen too often. And, um, you know, I, I like Steph coming off of a game like this too. I like his ability to to bounce back, um, you know. So to be able to win the game with our defense, with our depth, it's a, it's a great uh, great team effort. Ron on the right. Ron Krojic from the Chronicle. Uh, you mentioned Gary in passing. If you think about where he was just a little over a month ago on the court in Memphis, broken elbow, to not just come back this quickly, but to make the impact he did tonight. Um, sort of your reaction to that and, and what it says about him to be able to do that. Yeah, you know, when he was uh, lying there in Memphis, I thought I thought maybe his season was over. And um, we knew how important he was to us um, in so many ways. So, uh, you know, the, um, the, the, the inspiration uh, for Gary was to be able to make it back if we were able to advance. And I watched him work every single day running sprints, doing defensive slides, you know, with his elbow in a sling. Um, the, guy's, the guy's a workhorse. He's, uh, he's incredible. So amazing athlete, great defensive player. He's got really good instincts out there and, and obviously super competitive. And um, for him to make it back, um, it's obviously crucial for our team, but I'm, I'm really thrilled for him, um, you know, with his – journey in this league. He's, uh, he's come a long way, and um, now he's getting a chance to, to shine in the finals. So it's, uh, it's awesome. Anthony on the left. 
What particularly did you think you did well defensively tonight, especially on Jalen Brown? I just thought our our force, our, our uh, pressure, our, our uh, help was there all the time. Um, we just didn't allow a lot of openings. Um, uh, you know, our rotations were were good, and we and we flew out to shooters and just tried to make it as tough as possible. Um, so, so it was a great effort, but you know, we got to. Got to rev it back up and, and do it again uh, in game six. And on the right. Hey, Steve. Um, from the outside, it looks as though Andrew's uh, confidence and, for want of a better word, joy has increased like almost game by game. And I'm just wondering, what are you seeing from him in terms of his comfort level, his confidence, and all of that? Yeah, I, I, he's definitely confident. He's definitely enjoying um, the playoffs. He loves the challenge. He loves uh, the competition. And um, he, <clears throat> excuse me, he's just, he's found such a crucial role on our team. And I think that empowers him. He knows how much we need him. And um, so he's been, been fantastic. Melissa Roll on Fox Sports. Hey, Steve, um, after tonight's performance, there's legitimate chatter that Wiggins should be in contention for the MVP finals board. When you guys first acquired him, did you think he'd become this key of a cog for you guys? We uh, we we knew we needed his athleticism and his defense and his versatility, and um, we had no idea, you know, that that uh, he would uh, make this kind of uh, contribution. But I think it's a it's a reminder that for every almost every player in the NBA circumstances or everything, you know, you just uh, you kind of need to find the right place, the right teammates, that kind of stuff. And um, Wiggs has been a, a great fit. Last couple for coach Vince. Vince Gilroy, well, Yahoo Sports. Steve, when you get to this stage of the season, game five of the finals, how much does poise just play a part in the entire equation? It looked like Boston was kind of unraveling a bit and these games kind of become a slog. Do you prepare your team for that? Yeah, I thought I thought that was the most important part of the game tonight was that um, you know we had a twelve point lead in ha at half and they came and and just uh, stormed right through us in that third quarter for the first whatever it was eight nine minutes and uh, that was a crucial part of the game for us to respond to that. Uh, Jordan hit the huge shot, you know, a um, couple big ones late third, and then had a really good stretch to start the fourth as well, um, but. The response to um, you know, Boston's run to me was uh, was the key to the game. Final question, Kendra. Kendra Andrews, ESPN. Steve, the other day, Draymond said it, he to take what he did in the fourth quarter of Game Four and then apply it to all of Game Five. Just what did you think of his presence and force and performance tonight? That's, that's um, this is a guy I've been watching for eight years. You know, um, he's all over the place defensively. He's distributing the ball. You know, he's. Uh, to bring in that in intensity and competitiveness and, and energy. Uh, I thought Draymond was brilliant. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.